and let's get started. Good morning, YouTube. Thank you very much for checking out my channel. Oh boy, it's been a rough couple of days, but you know, that's all right. That's all right. Magic is all about having fun, learning. That's what I'm here for. I'm learning how to play, learning how to build decks, things like that, and putting out videos to show my progression as a Magic player. Today we have more of a meme deck than a uh, competitive one. So let me introduce to you the Cabaretti meme. So this whole deck revolves around getting Devilish Valet and Jetmir out and pumping up the Valet or just having a lot of creatures out and pumping it up with Jetmir. The way we're going to do that is get Rebel Rousing down and just keep on attacking and in increase our creatures to trigger Jetmir's last line of text which says creatures you control get plus one plus oh and have double strike as long as you control nine or more creatures. This includes the other two so creatures you control get plus one plus zero and have vigilance as long as you control three or more and then they have plus one plus oh and trample if you control six or more. So they get Vigilance, Trample, and Double Strike if you have 9 or more creatures. A lot of times what happens is we attack with 5 creatures with Rabble Rousing down, which also has uh, Jet Mirror hiding away. Then it creates 5 1-1 one -one tokens, which makes it 10 creatures. You get Jet Mirror for free. Now all of a sudden your 5 attacking creatures have plus 3, plus 0, oh, Vigilance, which doesn't matter because they already attacked so they're probably tapped, Trample, and Double Strike. And if you have Devilish Valet down, if it gets pumped up five times, that's what? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. It's a 32, 3 with Trample and Double Strike. So Devilish Valet uh, inherently has Trample, but it gains the uh, Double Strike from Jamir. But that's the whole idea. We have uh, three copies of Aegon Drill Uprising in here. I thought this might be a good deck to uh, utilize it. Spoiler alert. I still haven't been able to use this in a good way. I feel like Aegondra Uprising probably has a way you can use it to make it good. I haven't figured it out. But anyways, for our removal, we have two copies of Brutal Cathar and two copies of Skyclave Apparition. We have two copies of Torrens, Fist of the Angels, just because we are a fairly creature-heavy deck. So every time you cast a creature, you create a 1-1 human soldier that also trains. That's another way for you to build up your number of creatures. Also, four copies of Gallagreeters. It's our way to um, create treasures. We have uh, Hopeful Initiate as our cheap creature. So if we have two in hand, we can play both of them. And then if you have Torrens out and Devilish Valet, you trigger Devilish Valet four times with playing two hopeful initiates. We have uh, four Luminarch Aspirant because it's a really great two drop. We have one copy of Cabaretti Ascendancy and one copy of Cabaretti Charm. They did not come up in these videos. I've had more copies of the charm, but what I noticed is I, I drew it way too often and couldn't use it. So I thought maybe just having one would be enough. Same with Cabaret Ascendancy. If I can get it to stick on the battlefield, it's useful. But if I draw too many of them, it was just a dead card in my hand. Anyway, that that's pretty much the deck. Like I said, it's not a competitive deck. It's just more of a fun deck. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try and record two videos today. So it's going to be a quick video. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get to the let's get to the games. All right, uh, we're up against No Shame Josh. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get our meme going here. Um, yeah. So see, this is where do I get the Luminarch Aspirant going or the Gallagreeters going? I think I'm getting the Gallagreeters going, but there's a chance that uh. All right, so now the question is, what are the chances that the Gallagreeters are going to be killed right away? I think they're going to want to play their Anvil first, right? Because they're at Rakdos Anvil, probably. They're going to want to get their Anvil out. No? Okay, they want their Harvester out. Alright. Oh man, I really don't like that Harvester there because they can uh, sacrifice it to kill one of my creatures, but... They're probably going to want to go for Luminarch instead of the Gallagreeters. 
So we'll make the Luminarch a bit more of a uh, enticing target. If they're going to use removal. They might not. I think they're just going to... They might just attack with the Harvester. Man, they just got... They just dumped their whole hand, didn't they? Okay, yep. Nope, never mind. They did kill the... Uh, Alright, I think we need to get the Rebel Rousing out now. Then we'll take care of the threats with the Brutal Cathar next turn. That's one thing about Rebel Rousing, I don't really have too many cards that I want to play for free. Um, I think maybe we take care of the Tenacious Underdog. Okay, so that sucks. That sucks a lot. But I guess that's to be expected. Alright, so... Uh, they might have removal left in their hand. Or a deadly dispute. Good chance they have a deadly dispute. Oh no, wait, no, they only have one mana open. What am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know what they have for one mana that could uh hold up on this it's another voltage surge. Alright, uh I guess next turn we can A Ganjo for three. Maybe. I don't know what they're. Whatever they have in their hand is holding up priority, but I'm not sure what. What it could be. That they're not instantly trying to kill my Brutal Cathar. Which for me, either way, I got rid of a creature. Ooh, do I want to be greedy? I could do Gala Greeters and they got Joe for one. That way we can, uh... Let's see, how could we do that? Oh, come on! <laughs> Whatever it is, just use it! Decide! What is it? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? They might kill my Gallagher right here. Like I said, I don't know what it is. It's probably another harvester, but um, let's gain that life first. I think it's pretty important. And we'll get the creature. I don't know if it was better to wait to use the Aganjo for three, but this way at least we don't give them any more creatures. So, maybe thinking about removing Gallagreters again? Okay. Start my 
Making blockers, I guess? Oh, man. There was a, a video by uh, Covert Go Blue where he's, he just absolutely hated this deck because the people who play this deck take so much time. And I completely agree with him. It was a deadly dispute. He was holding onto a deadly dispute this whole time. But that wouldn't really hold up... What was holding up his... Uh... I, get, uh, I guess it was the Eden Alive. No, but that's not an instant. Oh man. Okay, so do we go for the Buddha Cathar here? It's probably just going to get removed again. We can go for the den of the bugbear. I think, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. Oh, do they have removal for the... They have another, uh... Is Voltage Surge? Anything? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, if you're gonna kill it, I wish you would decide to do it now. Come on! <laughs> Come on, no shame, Josh! You should be ashamed. <laughs> you have one card! One card in hand! And an anvil. If you're gonna decide to do something, you should decide to do something. Alright, so are we gonna get three or four? That's the question with the rubble rousing. Okay, it's only three. I wasn't sure if the goblin was going to count. So they decide to double block the then of the bugbear. Maybe Brutal Cathar next turn. They really need to decide what they're gonna do. You're getting a your go. Oh no, they turned it into night. What? What was holding up their... What was, what's holding up their... Oh, it's the freaking blood... Oh, come on. They're holding up blood? You're kidding me. Uh, do we want to kill it? I think we just do one block like that, right? So now we know they they don't have removal. I think we can get Jetmir out for a decent amount of damage. The blocks are going to kill my cre one one creatures, but. Rebel Rousing is going to replace them. <laughs> uh, your go! This is such an infuriating game. You have one choice. Are you going to use your anvil or no? Use the anvil? Oh, no, I'm not going to use my anvil. Going to use my anvil? No. Going to use the anvil? No. 
I'm sorry. I've I've had a rough week, rough 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 couple of days, and uh... Whew. okay. I is this like I wonder if this is how he climbs a ladder? Is just annoy annoy the uh, opponent. So that's, uh, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. And sure, we can get this guy down. Oh, never mind, that's lethal. I forgot. <sighs> Got double strike. Uh, done, done, done. Good game. Boom, and that's how it's done. Well, I'm glad I got to get the uh, meme going. We're up against Hirokawa. But, uh, yeah. Actually got the uh, deck to work like it's supposed to. It's amazing. I'm actually drawing like a decent amount of lands. Which is surprising. I think we can keep this. Now, the question is... He has the little cat guy uh, as his avatar. I should have I should have try and get my hands on that avatar for this deck. <laughs> another I hope it's not another anvil deck. An, excuse me. Anvil deck. Alright. I'm gonna play my Gallagreeters. See if they'll survive. Or we can play Luminarch first. So they're playing Boros. If I play Luminarch. Okay. I think we'll play the Gallagreeters first. I think he'll survive. And then maybe Luminarch Aspirant next turn. Because they're going to probably want to play their Reinforced Ronin again. Oh, never mind. They decided they need more planes. Okay. Uh, this out. We need a tap token. Um... This might entice them to uh, get rid of the Aspirin instead of the Greeters. We kind of need the Greeters. We can get Rebel Rousing down next turn. Oh, I just realized they could actually discard their Reinforced Ronin. Oh, Clarion Spirit instead. So they're going to get the Ronin and something else down. That's what I'm assuming. Maybe they have two Ronins. No, oh, another restoration. So, I think we can get the Rebel Rousing down. Uh, we'll put this on red. Rebel Rousing. Uh, auto pay. A jet mirror would be wonderful. Um, Sure, they all survive. Then we'll get a token and gain life. Maybe get a Brutal Thar and a Hopeful Initiate down next turn. 
to kind of clear the path so we can get more attackers. They don't block. I guess the thing I said earlier about discarding the Ronin was a dumb idea. For any of you who caught it, because it comes in tapped, I wasn't thinking about that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so I think Brukathar. Hopeful Initiate next turn? How many creatures do I need? Ten, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. So that'd be eight, nine, ten. So I could get, if I attack all, I can get ten creatures on the board. But that takes care of... Oh, they can't hit that. So they take my Luminarch. Okay. Okay, okay. So I can only attack for three. If I draw land, I can play two Brutal Cathars. I think I take that. Alright. No land. So I think I take this creature right there. Um, we'll go ahead and gain life first. We're gonna get the other triggers anyway. Oh, I think we're gonna be just short of We're going to be just short of 10 creatures. Right? Because I'll get... I'll have 3, 4, 5, 6. Then another 3 is 9. So maybe I just play the Luminarch Aspirant. I should have gone for the Skyclave Apparition. Uh, we'll do that. Okay, I don't know what's taking priority on their end. But, uh, I think, yeah, I think we're going to do it this way, get three more, and put a plus one counter as our last trigger, so they could double block my Gallagreters. They do. Excellent. The next turn. They don't do anything crazy. We should have 10 creatures. I doubt they run sweepers. And since we have 10 creatures, they all gain double strike and trample. Okay, 
two, four, six, seven, eight. I could double block the Skyclave Apparition. That'll give me another creature back. Um, that one, two, four, five, six. Yeah. I think I can do that. I don't think that... Would they have... I don't think they'll have a... Uh, combat trick for just one white mana. I guess they could have, like, a first strike or something. Do they? I don't know. I don't know what kind of <laughs> combat tricks are available right now. Well, I guess they had that. Alright. So that's unfortunate. But... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can still attack for a lot. Who do we get rid of? I think we get rid of one of their blockers, right? We'll just get rid of our angel. Um, we're going to eventually get all the triggers anyway. I don't think we need to. Alright. All attack. Five attacks. Put this out. Done. Oh, I think once they saw Jet Mirror, they knew their scheme over. Alright. That's another surprising win. We're up against the uh, Ghost Step. And it seems like we're up against a lot of uh, other janky car or janky decks, if you will. This isn't keepable, right? <laughs> we go first. Oh man, we're keeping it because I think we're up against like a either a mono red or some kind of red deck, and. You know, maybe the Skyclave and the Brutal Cathar will have targets to hit. Maybe we can get their uh, Chandra if they have one. Chandra? However you pronounce her name. The thing about playing Magic by yourself sometimes is you realize you've never actually said a lot of the cards' names out loud. And you realize you don't know how to pronounce them. Just gonna do that. Okay. I guess we can get Kumano. And Budo Kathar, the uh, adversary next turn. Put this on green. I don't know. Hmm. Oh no. Well, I think we'll go for. Oh. Then we don't have red. I don't have any, uh,. I don't have any mountains. I need to go. I need to fix that. But we have all the colors we need. Oh. Okay. Um.
Okay. Well, that was bound to happen. Maybe I should have gotten the non-hasty creature. Oh, okay. Uh, no blocks, I guess. Hmm. Just as a blocker. And if they don't have removal, which they could, they could have a uh, thundering rebuke. But if they don't have a thundering rebuke, I think next turn we get Agonjo for three. That makes it what? Oh, never mind. They have removal. We could do this for three. It gives him two blockers. Do it for four, I mean. I just have a feeling it's just a bunch of removal in their hand. So three mana for 2-2 two, two haste. <laughs> Compared to their bloodthirsty adversary, it's a pretty bad rate. Alright, so they're contemplating something. They do have removal, okay. I don't know if that was a good trade or not. Well, actually, probably was, but... Okay, so... Four, right, one, two, three, four... And we can have the initiate down. Hmm. Do this. Do this. And attack with this. Now if we block, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Okay. Oh. Oh. Probably could just kill. Oh, yeah, that's game. Alright, yep. That wasn't very good. That was a bad matchup for the hand we had. Okay, so I, I just did uh, the lands. I added one mountain and removed one Den of the Bugbear. Um, so now I only have two Den of the Bugbears. I don't know if that's the right choice. Well, apparently it doesn't matter. Still gonna keep it in hand. So Jetmir, Jetmir, Den of the Bugbear, play Luminarch. So, he, yes, okay. So, typically we don't play, or I won't play Hopeful Initiate turn one, especially if you have more than one in hand, because then when you have Devilish Valet, on turn three, turn four, you can play both of these and uh, pump up the valet quite a bit. Hmm. Esper. Esper doesn't usually run a bunch of counters, but maybe this deck does. They have removal, probably. Which one are they going to remove? Okay. I mean, 
That's the right choice. This is why I hate going up against control sometimes. So here's the question. I could pump up just one of the hopeful initiates so I can pump up the other one next turn if they remove my Luminarch. Or I can pump up my Luminarch and they just remove it. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So they're just going to remove my Luminarch. And if they don't, I can pump up my Luminarch next turn. Okay, so that was... Not what I was expecting. It's so not the deck I thought it was. Okay. So are they kind of like a mill deck or a ninja deck? Or are they just using soaring thought thief? Okay, let's see if they do anything about this. Wow, this is the most mono white hand I've ever had. <laughs> so let's see if this means they'll... Okay. It's not too bad. Because... Alright, they had it. Thinking of maybe killing Brutal Cathar. Oh, so they are a fiend deck, okay. I'm like, oh, what? They milled two of my lands, thank you. I was, I was drawing too much lands. Not bad, I guess. Okay. They have a way to pump up for me? Yep. Okay. So I think if we play Iganjo next turn for... Because Rafine kind of like incentivizes them to attack. Huh. <laughs> See if they drew removal. We can attack with the Den of the Bugbear. And that'll give us one, two, three, four, five, six. And that gives us Trample. They can stop nine damage, but we're coming in with four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's enough. Ooh, they have they have something. Should we just go for it? Just go for it. Go all in. Go all in. Yeah. Just do it. Just go all in. Yes! <laughs> we beat an Esper deck with our 
<laughs> Meme deck. <laughs> and there you have it. So, I was editing this video, and that's when I realized I forgot to record an outro. Definitely thought I did. Good chance that I may have accidentally deleted it, but uh... So here we are, recording the outro a day later, while I'm editing. Uh, so what did I think about this deck? It performed a lot better than I thought for a what I thought was going to be a meme deck. Could probably definitely get rid of Agondra Uprising and come up with a better synergistic card to throw in here. Um, I think Devilish Valet is a good addition to the Rebel Rousing Jetmere combo deck. It's just... The next thing is just kind of coming up with what creatures put in here. Going for a mono-white aggro-y deck might work better. If it wasn't for trying to get Rubber Rousing down as early as possible, I would say maybe even adding Thalia. But uh, if you get Thalia down, you're going to be getting Rubber Rousing down a little bit later than you want to. Also, maybe instead of two Cathars and two Apparitions, just pick one and go four of one of those. Also. I don't know if Torrens is a good addition. I haven't really had a chance to use it in any meaningful way. I, I, I think this would be this definitely would be something I'll work on a little bit more if I want to see if I can make it a bit more competitive. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Please consider hitting that like button, uh, subscribe button. Helps the channel out a lot. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember, have fun playing Magic. <laughs>